One evening, James puffed into the shed and began grumbling to the other engines. I'm exhausted. Umpteen passenger trains and one too many good runs. Oh, thank goodness I'm helping on Edward's branch line tomorrow. I could do with a rest. Rest? Scoffed Duck. Rest? Branch lines are hard work, James. We work just as hard as any mainline engine. Sometimes even harder. Pah! Can't be that hard, Duck. Oh, you wait and see tomorrow. The next morning, James arrived at Edwards Station, ready to start work on the branch line. I'll need you to shunt the yard whilst I take my first passenger train, Edward explained. Be mindful though, the yard can get very busy. <laughs> A bit of light shunting doesn't bother me, huffed James. It's more than light shunting, James. There's trucks of scrap metal to go to the scrap yard, some oil tankers which need to be sent to the big station, and the empty trucks to go back to the docks. And that's before Donald arrives with the new trucks for the China Clayworks later. James was aghast. <laughs> I can't do all that. Isn't there a tank engine who can... No, Edward interrupted. It's all part of running your own branch line. Edward puffed away to find his coaches and left James to shunt the yard. When Edward is shunting, he treats the trucks fairly and doesn't bump them unless they misbehave. In return, they are obedient and give him no trouble. But James bumped and banged them all around the yard. He thought he was being firm, when really he was only aggravating them. Gordon laughed when he pulled in with the express. Oh look, he teased. It's a new tank engine. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I didn't realise it was you. It's not funny, he whinged. I've been left to do all the shunting on my own. You don't know the route of the line like Boko and I do, Edward sternly reminded him. You can familiarise yourself with it by taking the new trucks to the harbour. James let off steam furiously. First shunting, now a good trade. Soon, Donald arrived with the brand new trucks from the mainland. You could see how rough James was being with the trucks. You know how spiteful trucks can be, James. They'll pay you out if you're not careful. They won't get a better of me. Can't allow that, the new trucks said to one another. He won't push us around. We'll show him. Later that day, James took the new trucks along the branch line to the harbour. Next morning, Bill and Ben brought the loaded trucks back to the harbour yard. They were still determined to pay James out and waited keenly for him on the quayside. But they were surprised to find their plans scuppered when they saw Edward backing down toward them. What do we do now? They twitter to one another. One engine is as good as another, said the front truck. If we show him what we're capable of, then we'll show the red one too. Edward had grown tired of James's complaints and decided instead to do the goods work himself. rain had made the rails slippery, and Edward was having to take care to maintain grip. 
The trucks noticed he was slipping a little and began their tricks. Edward had expected this to happen. They were visitors and so wouldn't be used to him. Come along now, he called. No nonsense. That's what you think, giggled the trucks. On, on, on! The trucks bumped him hard and Edward surged forward. The driver put on the brakes hard to slow them down. But they were no use against the heavy trucks. Edward was beginning to fret. He knew that the junction wasn't far away. And if he didn't slow down sufficiently by then, there could be a serious accident. Then, he had an idea. I know how we can stop them, he called to the driver. Slow me right down for the hill. We'll be able to control them from there, with all the weight behind me. The driver agreed. Gently braking, Edward quickly regained control of the trucks again as they climbed the hill. Tried hard to keep up their momentum, but Edward was having none of it. Well done, you clever old engine, called his driver. You've saved the day. Edward ran smoothly back into the station, where Donald was waiting for him. I would have thought after all the trouble James was giving those trucks yesterday they were up to no good. All you need is a bit of patience and a bit of experience to handle trucks, Donald. <laughs> An engine like you should know that. James felt ashamed of himself, and later apologised to Edward. I'm sorry those trucks caused you bother, Edward. I shouldn't have been so rough with them before. Just be glad it was me who was pulling them today, not you, said Edward firmly. I hope it will teach you to be more careful and a lot more respectful towards trucks in future, James. A little respect goes a long way. That's why I don't have any trouble with them. I'll remember that in future, James sighed meekly. I only hope I can handle a runaway train half as well as you. You were splendid. Well, when it comes to trucks, I suppose somewhere along the line you do need a bit of experience, smiled the old engine. There's one thing I'll advise you about handling trucks properly. What's that? Know your route properly, chuckled Edward. <laughs> it might be your only hope of saving the day.